Okay, again, we are back in this video, uh, making a video on the uh, family of the Temur. Temur dynasty, a lot of his cousins, his wife, I and uh, part of his family, and one of the... Uh, huh? uh, it's quite steep, the stairs are. If you start taking the stairs from down at the ground level, I'll show it to you. These are very, very steep. Well, here's the beautiful, uh, beautiful pyramids. And when you come down, it doesn't seem that it's that deep, the stairs, but actually they're very steep. And, uh, well, this is Samarkand, folks. You can see the roads and the uh, cars passing by. It was quite a climb, actually. And so we're gonna take some more. The whole history of the people who actually are buried here is right here from Qasim ibn Abbas to down to 44 Qasim ibn Abbas it means like the entire family of Taimur and some of the companions of the Prophet apparently are buried here in the cemeteries that seem to have this specific uh, blue color design and architect of the Central Asian rulers that's about a good 900 years old but they don't seem to be that old the way these were uh, built are so sturdy and big look at the structure and the design and the architecture This is inside one of the cemeteries, and there are many. And so we should pray Fatiha on all of these souls and uh, family members of Taimur resting here in peace. Take a minute to recite Fatiha on the people resting here and then we go outside bismillah ma rahim alhamdulillah rabbil alamin arrahman arrahim maliki yawmid din iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdinas siratal al mustaqim siratal ladzina an'amta alayhim ghayri al-maghdubi alayhim waladdallin amin and then the prayer for the blessings of the souls of all these people resting here and there are many, many. Many of the companions of the family of Taimur Lang, who was feared and dreaded at the time when he was actually ruling as the ruler of Central Asia and parts of, I don't know, well, Afghanistan, India, all those places. I'm not good at history, but you can uh, find out where the dynasty of Taimur uh, was in many parts of the uh, northern, well, Central Asia and uh, down to India. This is indeed very beautiful. This, it has a different look if you come here during the day and you come here during the evening or the night. Very, very big place to visit yes all Islamic designs all Islamic design from 900 years ago 900 years ago very pretty we also hope and pray that the people resting here that they are also in peace and may God keep them in peace and give them peace all over anything is possible for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we pray that all who have passed before us and all who will pass after us and for us ourselves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the peace to our body and soul for this dunya and akhirah always always because this dunya is very transitory and temporary 
all these people and souls resting here. We pray for their peace forever. For all the tourists who come here, may God give them the guidance to pray for these people who are resting here and their souls and their families for peace forever in this world and the hereafter. This is a huge cemetery. And you see some of these mostly Western tourists come here and uh, they don't know anything about Fatiha. Most of them not know anyway, don't know anyway. Uh, look at that, all these Arabic ayat. I can only read al maut Yati, etc. And then uh, Al-Qabar, Al-Sanad, Al-Amal, whatever it is, apparently it's talking about, hey, what you get after dying is what you have actually earned in this world from your deeds. SubhanAllah. So the whole lesson from all these travels I have been doing is to be a good person and leave good marks and legacy for yourself. So people remember you in a good way. And all these people who have actually uh, are gone, only those are remembered actually who did mostly and largely good things that they will get the reward. This is huge indeed. You keep going doors after doors after doors after cemeteries, many, many, many. The entire family of Temur, uh, the big king and the Amir. Look, all these, all these are doors to the different cemeteries of the different people of different times. Watch your step, folks. Thank you. You're welcome. And, uh, yeah. You know, apparently it seems like this is the same design, but if you really look at them carefully, the designs themselves, like these beautiful designs are all different from one another. I'll show you one very closely. For example, what we have been seeing in the other rooms or chambers, the designs were different. Uh, each wall, even, has some very different designs. Taj Mahal is known all over the world, but unfortunately, uh, the, this place is not known so much because people don't travel, and this country has not really marketed the beautiful work of art, structure, and architecture that the kings and emirs of this country has left behind as their legacies. I mean, look at the artwork and the beauty of the designs of these uh, doors, just the doors. Similarly, all the walls, floors, steps, everything has a very unique design and architecture. Very majestic, indeed. And if you go like this, you can keep going up and see how tall these walls and the gates are. It's amazing. Very high. Azmat, do you know what is the height of this wall? I bet it's about 50 feet high. Yeah. So while my guide is taking our picture, I'm probably going to stop here very yeah. quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.